Oh, 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 the Ellie's are disappearing in towards the east. We've got a uh, female and her calf with a magnificent sky above them. We're back in Kenya. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? As the sun is already dipped below the a lot of escarpment behind us. You can see the light is disappearing quite quickly. And uh, it's not only about the elephants right here. I mean, we've got the magnificent skies, but we got one for the birders as well. There we go. Another one I only saw once while at Juma. A black-breasted snake eagle. Isn't he pretty? Now you can see there that very golden eye and the lack of feathers on the feet. Now, also, we actually see them quite often and this guy seems to be in this tree um, almost every night when we're sort of rushing to try and get back up the hill before it's too late. Uh, we've made it on in time this time that we don't have to rush off so we couldn't resist but show you how gorgeous that snake eagle is. Isn't that pretty? Remember this is a hundred percent live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya and it has just been a glorious afternoon. A beautiful out here. Now for some reason I have just been descended upon by about a thousand midges. I don't know if you can you see them Dave? Mm. Oh dear. Where did they come from? There's midges all around my head. You can see them. There they are. Oh dear. Fortunately they're not the biting variety like you get in some parts of Africa. And now, Adele is wondering, have there been any animals in the Mara that have surprised me? Um, not really, not yet, Adele. Um, you sort of, I mean, they do what they do. <laughs> uh, not yet, but I'm sure the time will come. Actually, I lied, Dave, we were surprised by an elephant. Oh, yeah. So we actually were on the marsh. Oh, the snake eagle's flown. Oh, there he goes. But we were, all, we were on the marsh, and that the marsh pride is fa famous from. And I was just showing Dave, because Dave hadn't seen it before. Um, the marsh pride is, has left the, the Maasai Mara National Reserve, and they've moved north into the conservancy, so out of our traverse area. So, uh, alas, they might come back, but it doesn't look like they're quite far into that area. And, and there's various different reasons why they moved. But while we were there, we were looking at, there must have been about 150 or so elephants spread out through the marsh. And um, we're about 900 meters away, and a female just started charging like it had seen uh, something like, a, I thought it had seen a hyena in the grass or, or a lion, possibly. We've all seen how elephants react um, to, to other predators. And, uh, and I kept trying to see what she was charging at, what she was charging at. 900 meters is a long way. And she just kept coming and coming and coming. So eventually I was like, Dave, I think she's coming at us. And at about 500 meters, I, I moved the car to give ourselves a, an escape route. And she just kept coming and coming. So I started whacking on the side of the car and shouting at the top of my lungs. And then she stopped about 30 or 40 meters from us. And then she just still wanted to come, still wanted to come. So I said, Dave, just hold on. We need to get out of here now. Um, I think that's probably the most surprising sighting we've had in the Mara. Uh, and then she ran off and she chased some impala and then she ran into another herd of elephants, caused absolute havoc there, trumpeting, screaming. I think she's possibly lost a young one. Uh, it's the only other time I've seen elephants really behave like that. Dev, 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 I think it's up on top, the left one. Oh, head, oh, my head, sorry, I was trying to look at my... Ah, not... Well, look at that. Now, it is a starling. Now, I'm going to let you guess which starling it is. And uh, you can see all the, the the downy feathers from the snake eagle. He likes to sit there so often. Some of those belly feathers have been stuck. Um, sorry, Megs, I didn't quite catch what William's question was. Can you send it through again, please? Oh, off it goes. 
Now, uh, William, who's seven years old in Oregon, would like to know, are these elephants nice like the other ones? Uh, for the most tire, part, they're nice, but you've got to remember, William, that like people have a bad day, elephants can have a bad day. So elephants can, oh, most of the time, they are nice, but sometimes they can be naughty or grumpy or angry or sad. So right, it all depends, just like people. That, but most of the time, I think the elephants are always nice. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's just the, the vistas here are just too, too gorgeous. And see this female, she's actually eating. You can see she's actually eating uh, little creepers that are growing in the grass at the moment. She's not, not actually eating the grass itself. But you see, it's getting quite dark. We're going to dash up the hill, uh, but we're going to leave you with this last view of this gorgeous elephant. And Tristan is going to take you to a breathtaking view of a golden African sunset.